In the last video I showed you a few simple steps on how to paint lips and in this video we're going to focus on painting teeth. If you haven't seen the previous video on lips you can check it out here. I've also uploaded this model on Thingiverse so if you'd like to print it yourself as a neat tool to practice your painting skills there's a link in the description. And a special thanks goes out to the guys at Wicked because they let me take their bishop model to create my model. A link to theirs is in the description as well. I'll be doing another video to show you how I paint the inside of the mouth including the gums and tongues so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Alright, let's start with what not to do. I pre-sealed the paint so you can easily make corrections if you mess up during painting, so this is definitely something you want to do. As a beginner you might think that for nice looking teeth you should go straight for a basic white acrylic color. For this example I used Vallejo Game Color Dead White, but as you can see in a few seconds this will lead to an unnatural look. In addition to the wrong color I used too much paint on the brush. Instead you'll want to use thin coats and gradually build up the paint. Too much paint at once can cover up all those tiny details. Another key to a realistic look is to paint each individual tooth according to its shape. Otherwise it can end up looking like one solid block which I demonstrated here by painting over all the gaps between the teeth. Choosing the right color depends on the look you're going for, so let's try a few variations. The next color I used was Bone White, which is usually my go-to choice. By the way, for this job I'm using a 5-0 paintbrush to keep the paint where I want it. With this fine detail work I even thought it might be easier to use magnifying glasses in addition. To show you how results vary with different skin tones, I used the same color on a pale skin model. While bone white works great for a male set of teeth, it can look a bit too yellowish for a nice female set. In that case you can use a very light grey, like ghost grey. This still gives bright teeth without the unrealistic glow of pure white. And you could even go a bit greyer than that. For my last set of teeth I leaned more towards the yellow side by using model color dark sand. The final step for every set of teeth is to apply a gloss varnish and here you don't need to be too careful, you don't have to use a tiny brush. For a bit of fun on the thumbnail I painted some missing teeth. And here's the final comparison of the colors I frequently use. But don't forget to download the model yourself along with the lips model. And as I mentioned next time we'll be working on the inside of the mouth so stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next video.